Look, what I would say is the important piece is don't think about it about how we're going to make money. Look, the, the, the most critical component is do you have a unique proposition? Does it resonate with a consumer? And are you able to build community connection? You know, Web3 is all about community. And if you're a creator, this is an opportunity for you not only to be able to tap into a Korean market, but immediately a global market because that's what Web3 technology enables. In any new development of any, any new technology, there's always going to be an infrastructure roadblock. You know, it happened in the internet of the early days. It happened in mobile in the early days as well. That technology know-how will, will, will be solved. We hired a, a new CTO, Mike Sievers, who understands the technology deep, deep in, inside out. And we're all about investment in large platform capabilities and partnering with the ecosystem to help solve for them. So we see ourselves as being an integral part to finding a solution to make content more readily available and shareable with the Web3 space. Look, we're passionate about community members, whether they came uh, very early on when we launched Board Ape, or whether they joined us along the lines in the Mutant Ape community and other experiences that we've had. So we keep creating new, new and immersive epic experiences we're about building culture on the blockchain. That means that make, make it available to as many uh, people as possible. Because the stronger our community gets, the better the experience is for everybody. So we are passionate about our early members, but we're also just as passionate about those who just recently joined. And we're gonna keep creating new and innovative experiences so that anyone who really wants to participate in our overall ecosystem can participate. It's su such an important thing to be able to identify with your PFP. Like, this is, my, this is my, my Captain Poncho. So with me now, this now opens up my experiences, whether it's in multiple games, I'm known as Captain Poncho, um, or whether I transact on an e-commerce site, you know, my identity, if I make it known, can, can, can be known. And I think that's a very powerful component of the social network aspect of things, where you build communities and those communities can follow you and you can bring them along where, wherever it is that you want. And that, I think, will play itself out in many different ways, whether it's in personal identity, whether it's in shopping and transactions, whether it's in, uh, in, in financing. I, I, that capability, I think, is going to be really revolutionary um, and actually help build greater experiences on the Web3 platform. I think the biggest trends are gonna be ownership of the experiences. So the biggest problem that, we, that I've, I've talked about in gaming is that you invest so much in a game, but for you to come, come out of that is hard. You know, you have a, a digital sword and that sword, well, what do you do with it once you finish playing with the game? Well, it's done, right? So those interoperability capabilities of not only your experiences being able to trade, but also be able to go from game to game and the interoperability of the platform, that's an evolution that is gonna happen because it's at the core, it's the nature of Web3. You're gonna have a flourishing of new experiences that no one could have ever imagined. So when we meet again in 2024, which I hope we do at the end of 2024, uh, we're gonna look back and say, huh, I never thought that these companies were gonna create these experiences that connect communities in such innovative ways through ownership and identity.